Hello friends, today we are going to discussing about most important and previously asked multiple choice questions and answers about musculoskeletal system. Before that, if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. We can see the questions and answers one by one. And the first question is, the first bone to ossify in our body. And the options are humerus, clavicle, ribs and sternum. The first bone to ossify in our body. And the answer is clavicle. The first bone to ossify in developing embryo and last to complete epiphyseal union is clavicle. The next question. Bone forming groups are called. The options are osteoclast, osteoblast, chondrocyte, myosin. The bone forming groups are called. The options are osteoclast, osteoblast, chondrocyte and myosin. And the answer is osteoblast. The next question. Benign tumor of cartilage is termed as. The options are chondrosarcoma, osteochondroma, osteoma and chondrocarcinoma. The benign tumor of cartilage is termed as. And the answer is chondrosarcoma. And the next question, approximately what amount of heat produced by muscle tissue? The options are 65%, 75%, 85% and 95%. Approximately what amount of heat produced by muscle tissue? And the answer is 95%. The next question, smallest contractile unit in a skeletal muscle is termed as? The options are? Sarcolima, sarcoderm, sarcomere and sarcosome. The smallest contractile unit in a skeletal muscle is termed as. And the answer is sarcomere. The next question, which of the following connect bone to bone? And the options are tendon, ligament, muscle and cartilage. Which of the following connect bone to bone? And the answer is ligament. The ligament connect bone to bone and the tendon connect muscle to bone. The next question, muscle injury is termed as? The options are strain, sprain, fracture and subluxation. The muscle injury termed as? And the answer is strain. The muscle injury is strain. And the ligamental injury is sprain. Muscle injury is strain and the ligamental injury is sprain. And the next question. What is the life threatening complication after fracture femur? And the options are compartment syndrome, infections, fat embolism and hemorrhage. What is the life threatening complication after Fracture femur. And answer is fat embolism. The next question. What is the neurovascular complication associated with the fracture? The options are hemorrhage, neuropathy, fat embolism and compartment syndrome. What is the neurovascular complication associated with the fracture? And the answer is compartment syndrome. The compartment syndrome is increased pressure within a muscle compartment of arms or legs. This pressure increase causes nerve damage to decreased blood supply. So the neurovascular complication associated with the fracture is compartment syndrome. The next question, fundamental functional unit of bone. And the options are osteocytes, chondrocytes, Harvestian system and sarcomere. The fundamental functional unit of bone. And the answer is Harvestian system. The next question. Fracture associated with the children. The options are hairline fracture, compound fracture, complete fracture 
and green stick fracture the fracture associated with the children and the answer is green stick fracture and the next question common cause of pathological fracture is the options are fall infection osteoporosis and osteoarthritis the common cause of pathological fracture and the answer is osteoporosis and the other causes are osteomalacia paget disease osteitis benign tumors and cyst and the next question longest and strongest bone in our body is and the options are hip bone femur sternum tibia the longest and the strongest bone in our body and the answer is femur the next question largest tarsal bone is the options are talus navicular calcaneum and cuboid the largest tarsal bone is and the answer is calcaneum the next question longest muscle in our body the options are soleus gluteus maximus gluteus minimus and sartorius longest muscle in our body and the answer is sartorius the next question injury to the lower trunk of brachial plexus is known as and the options are clump case paralysis erb's paralysis bell's paralysis none of the above injury to the lower trunk of brachial plexus is known as and the answer is clump case paralysis clump case paralysis is injury to the c8 and t1 and erb's paralysis is injury to the upper trunk of brachial plexus that is c5 and c6 and bell's paralysis is sudden weakness in the face muscle on the one half of face the next question largest and most complex joint in our body is and the options are hip joint patellar shoulder and knee joint the largest and most complex joint in our body and the answer is knee joint the next question the constant use of which drug cause osteoporosis the options are heparin furosemide digoxin all of the above the constant use of which drug cause osteoporosis and the answer is furosemide the constant use of furosemide cause osteoporosis because mainly due to increase the urinary excretion of calcium leading to a long term negative balance of calcium that cause osteoporosis and the next question gold standard diagnostic measure for measuring bone mass density the options are nexa scan bone scan bone biopsy and gallium scan gold standard diagnostic measure for measuring bone mass density and the answer is dexa scan the dexa scan means dwell energy x-ray absorptiometry the next question most common complication that a nurse should notice to prevent following total hip replacement and the options are dvt infection hemorrhage joint instability the most common complication that a nurse should notice to prevent following total hip replacement and the answer is dvt means deep vein thrombosis the next question lateral deformity of the spine is known as the options are kyphosis scoliosis lordosis and genu vera the lateral deformity of the spine is known as and the answer is scoliosis the next question tawagas humbis otherwise known as the options are scoliosis lordosis kyphosis and genu varum the dovagus humbis otherwise known as 
and the answer is kyphosis that is postal kyphosis abnormal outward curvature of the thoracic vertebrae of upper back the answer is kyphosis and the next question to limit painful attack which food should the nurse to teach a client with gout to avoid the options are egg liver cheese and salmon to limit painful attack which food should the nurse to teach a client with gout to avoid and the answer is liver the gout is high level of uric acid in the blood the liver red meat and organ meat are high in saturated fat so that should be avoided for a client with gout the next question ports fracture is related to the options are fibula radius ulna and tibia the ports fracture is related to and the answer is fibula the ports fracture related to fibula and colis fracture related to radius the next question and last question common malignant bone forming tumor common malignant bone forming tumor the options are ewing's carcinoma osteochondroma osteoblastoma osteoclastoma the common malignant bone forming tumor and the answer is ewing's sarcoma the ewing's sarcoma is cancer that most often occur in and around the bones typically occur in children and young adults thank you friends thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos please like and share this video